Good morning. I'm really delighted to open this workshop. I guess the, the connections between the two universities, I think, were meant to take place for a long time. There are many parallels, I think. There is a natural kind of a, a common ground, I think, for the two universities, for the two institutions. One of them, possibly, is the name of this faculty, that is the Joseph Berkman. Uh, is in a way one way of connecting us, but there is also an intellectual connection, I think, between us and uh, Goethe University, particularly the Faculty of Law, particularly the group of legal historians, the strong group of legal historians in the Faculty of Law. Uh, there are connections and there are, there are grounds for developing further connections with the Cluster of Excellence in Fra Frankfurt, uh, with the Max Planck Institute for Legal History in Frankfurt. So, so the thing was just waiting to happen uh, for quite a long time until Albrecht actually made it happen together with Lena. So I met uh, you, I met Albrecht some years ago in a conference, I believe it was in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read your, uh, 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 your scholarship for a while before and I was looking for an opportunity to meet you and then we met in that uh, Amsterdam conference and from there things have unfolded uh, you came for a visit with our law faculty last year for a full month of teaching. You met Lina, you met David, you met others. And from there, I think that the, the natural unfolding of events led us uh, for today's workshop, which is an additional reminder or, or confirmation of the commonality between, I think, the two institutions. The theme of the conference, the participants, only show that there is much potential for the future in terms of further collaboration, further discussions, further workshops, further mutual visits. Uh, so I look forward for the workshop today and tomorrow morning. I will be taking part as much as I can in the workshop. I will also present a paper later on. And I look also for our informal conversations over coffee uh, and over dinner. And I would kind of defer to you to have some of your own remarks. Thanks for coming and enjoy the rest of the workshop. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ron. Thank you, Lena. Thank you all to you all for having us. Um, thanks for the invitation. Um, thanks for the organization, uh, including writing the application, which uh, was mainly Lena's work, and uh, thank you to our, our financiers who paid the air tickets and the hotels. Um, and uh, in, the, in regard to the application and the invitation, we want to, we hope that we can pay back in kind in the near future when hopefully we can continue our cooperation perhaps with a similar workshop in Frankfurt. It may not be as warm and bright as here, but we will do our best to uh, present you some hospitality of our kind. And uh, most importantly, uh, thank you for the interest in uh, a cooperation between our uh, two faculties. That is a great opportunity. We have a number of uh, uh, faculty partnerships, but none yet uh, to Israel. In this case, uh, Tel Aviv and Frankfurt are Jumelet, our sister cities, and our faculties have this general agreement on cooperation, but our faculties uh, um, may go this way if we find common grounds, and I am very optimistic, just as you said, for the same reason. I have three reasons why I'm especially uh, glad to be, to be back. One is uh, to continue my personal Tel Aviv adventure, because I really fell in love with your wonderful white city and uh, uh, I just it was so nice to return to the uh, to the beautiful campus and yesterday to the uh, um, hotel right by the beach so that was a very personal reason but uh, secondly because our faculty have uh, so much in common just as you said we are both pluralistic open minded uh, interest in fundamentals of jurisprudence and the strong 
aspect of uh, legal history, but it is important uh, for me uh, that we are in the process of tr uh, trying to um, build, bridging the gap between legal history and uh, contemporary law, and I'm therefore very happy that we uh, have two people in our uh, team who uh, are not legal historians, and we, we, we will try to find out uh, how we can work together and how we can influence and help one another. Yeah, yeah, well, we have a few faculty members who are not legal historians. <laughs> <laughs> we have some 10 but, to 12 legal historians. <laughs> 18. Out of 40? And then there is a third reason, uh, which is a, a f specific Frankfurt reason. We are in the process of shaping a joint research focus, and uh, the uh, uh, working title is uh, Dynamics of Jurid Juridical Decision Making. And we are um, exploring various ways of how we should pr uh, proceed with this project. We have a number of uh, sub-projects within this framework, half of them legal his history, half of them contemporary law, and uh, there are a number of opportunities, a number of possible ways how to pursue this aim together with the Max Planck Institute, um, and this is the first time we come, uh, uh, we uh, sort of are coming out, if you like, <laughs> uh, when we uh, actually discuss this idea, or part of these ideas uh, with you, with an uh, outside public. And um, our subject, the overlapping jurisdictions as a possibly a transformative moment, are an important uh, piece within that general subject. So um, this focus on both uh, uh, contemporary and historical uh, conflict resolution is a subject which will surely uh, be pursued by, on, by us in the future. And so uh, we are very much looking forward uh, to, our, uh, to your comments on our subjects and uh, to your input. input. And um, I bet we have very interesting, interesting discussions today and tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Really quickly, could I ask you about the low uh, project? What's going on? The well, the funding with the Löwe project, the, the project that fin finished uh, as foreseen uh, last year, it was a three years project. We got an additional fourth year, and we spent the very last pennies of the money to fly here. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, the money is spent. <laughs> Moritz was the last uh, spokesperson, uh, so. Uh, he was kind enough to uh, support us in this way. So the idea now is to continue the project in another way? Yes, we have to look for a framework. We uh, have uh, examined the way of a uh, Sonderforschungsbereich, uh, but uh, um, the success is doubtful in that regard, so uh, we don't know yet which way to pursue. Right now, it's just an informal um, working circle. Uh, but we uh, may, uh, we are go definitely going to organize an international conference next year, uh, may, late in the year, or perhaps early in 17. So we are going to uh, continue with that, but we don't know uh, the uh, exact framework, nor the funding. E EU might be a possibility, but there's, uh, it's so complicated to write the applications there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can all agree with that. <laughs> Okay, because part of the objective of today is not only for us to meet each other and to have a conversation about overlapping jurisdictions, but also to be thinking about future projects, which is the intention of the sponsors of the event, which is that we should be, con this should be the first of a series of events, um, according to Tel Aviv University and Tegoita University. <laughs> so we need to be thinking about what we're, we should work from here. So just to keep that in mind. Okay, maybe, maybe thank you. And we'll start now with the...